The M7 Bradley is the U.S. Army's forward observation vehicle. It is based on the M2A2 Bradley ODS infantry fighting vehicle chassis. This variant was specially designed to replace the M981 FISTV forward observation vehicle, based on the M113 armored personnel carrier chassis. Its official designation is M7 Bradley Fire Support Team Vehicle, or M7 BFISD. Though it is a forward observation vehicle by its function. Development program began during the mid-1990s. In 1997 testing of pre-production vehicles began. Low-rate initial production contract was awarded in 1998. Deliveries of the M7 vehicles to the U.S. Army began in 2000. By 2001 a total of 49 vehicles were delivered to the U.S. Army. These were rebuilt from M2A2 Bradley ODS infantry fighting vehicles. The U.S. Army also tested M3A3 Bradley armored reconnaissance vehicles, rebuilt to the M7 standard. Some sources report that only 55 M7 Bradley forward observation vehicles were ever built due to limited funding. These are operated by mechanized U.S. Army units. The M7 is generally similar to the M2, however its launcher unit for TOW anti-tank missiles has been replaced by target location equipment and other sensors. This vehicle can locate targets at ranges of up to 20 kilometers. The M7 calls artillery fire or guides precision guided munitions on the designated targets. All target designation is performed from within the vehicle under armor protection. Vehicle also carries portable equipment for dismounted observers. The M7 is a point and shoot and point and lace system. It obtains precise range information to the target via its laser rangefinder and other sensors. It estimates target coordinates with a push of a button. Vehicle has a built-in battle management system with a GPS and inertial navigation system. This system determines location of the vehicle on the map, as well as target's coordinates. The M7 calls to fire nearby artillery units via a digital battle management system. There is an identification system which prevents calling fire on friendly units. On a number of occasions the M7 demonstrated that it can put precision indirect fire on the target with standard 155mm artillery shells. Standard shells land within 50 meters from the designated target. In case with guided munitions it illuminates the target by a laser beam, allowing the laser guided munitions to detect and hit the target. Furthermore this armored vehicle can target artillery while on the move. The M7 features a dramatic improvement over the previous M981 forward observation vehicle. The M7 is operated by a crew of four, including commander, gunner, driver and forward observer. Compartment that was once used by the dismounts has been rearranged. Communication station for the forward observer was installed there. This forward observation vehicle retains the 25mm Bushmaster chain gun. This weapon has a dual feed system and fires both high explosive and armor piercing rounds. The gun is fully stabilized and can fire accurately while on the move. There is also a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. The M7 mainly uses its weapons for self defense. This vehicle has a welded aluminum armor hull. Front arc has a spaced laminated aluminum and steel armor construction. Interior is lined with spall liner. Front arc of the M7 Bradley withstands hits from 30mm armor-piercing ammunition. All-round protection is against 14.5mm heavy machine gun fire. Add-on explosive reactive armor blocks can be fitted for protection against anti-tank rockets and missiles. Vehicle has enhanced protection against landmines and IED blasts. Crew members are seated on energy-absorbing seats. Vehicle is also fitted with NBC protection system and automatic fire suppression system. The M7 Bradley is powered by a Cummins VTA 903T600 diesel engine, developing 600 horsepower engine is located at the front. It is mated to an automatic transmission system. Engine and transmission are built into one module and can be easily replaced in field conditions. This armored vehicle is rather slow due to excessive weight and modest engine performance. This armored vehicle is amphibious with added inflatable buoyancy tanks. On water it is propelled by its tracks. It can cross inland rivers and lakes. 
The M7 has the same mobility, survivability and battlefield signature as the M2A2 Bradley IFE. This armored vehicle is air transportable. It can be airlifted by a C-17 Globemaster III or C-5M Super Galaxy military transport aircraft.